As a young professional, uh, when I started working with, uh, with my association, um, it was very exciting to start. Um, I love the work of the association. Um, it's high quality, we are engaged, we do a little bit of everything. It's, it's, really, it's really satisfying work. Uh, but when you start as a young professional, you will find yourself in a room where you might be the youngest, you might have the least knowledge about the association, uh, about what you should be doing. Um, so I did find myself in that situation. Um, I, we would go to our board meetings. We are a standard setter, so I would go to our board who makes standards for the appraisal profession. Um, and I would be in that room and they would be discussing very technical, deep discussions about standards and uh, the profession. And I just felt like I was lagging behind. I wasn't quite grasping it. Um, and, I, and I knew, like, for me to understand my association, I need to understand these standards. I need to understand the conversation in the room. Um, so what I did, I took the, um, I took the standard class. It's the 15-hour USPAP class. And I took it a little one step ahead because that's really the basic to really understand the conversations in the room from you know really high um, experienced appraisers. I really needed to take the, uh, the instructor um, course, which is on, on the standards. So I took that course, it was one of the toughest course, courses. Uh, it was one of my past board members who was teaching it. Um, but it's something I did and I actually passed it. And the rate was, I think, was 50 or 60% pass rate. Um, I passed it and when I came back to that boardroom, there was a, there was a huge change in how it was perceived. Um, there was, I gained credibility, I gained respect. Um, so I was not just that young professional sitting there taking notes or taking minutes. I was really somebody uh, who was knowledgeable. You know, and a lot of times I feel that um, you don't have the experience, but you can gain the knowledge. You can take those classes, you can take the CAE, the Certified Association Executive Exam. Um, that's another thing I did to kind of, again, gain, gain, that, um, gain that respect and credibility. And that's another thing I would recommend everybody to do. You know, when you're out there in your association and you think like, okay, there must be the right way for this situation. There must be a right answer for our association. And there is and you will learn it if you, if you pursue the CAE career path. Uh, if you take that and you study it, you will suddenly know all of the right ways and the right answers for your association.